So what do you do when the wife says, no more guns? You find a loophole. The Bug Assault 3.0. Is this thing worth the $40 price tag? Is it better than a fly swatter? Let's find out. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about the Bug Assault 3.0, and this is the Orange Crush Edition. So this thing does come with a hefty price tag of around $40. So is it gonna be worth the $40 to purchase this gun instead of a fly swatter or a rolled up magazine or something like that? We're gonna find out today. I did test this thing against flies, spiders, wasps, and even grasshoppers, and I'll show some video of that stuff here in a minute. But first, let's go over the gun. The Bug Assault is a gun that shoots regular old table salt, doesn't need any batteries or any CO2, and it shoots the salt like little bullets to kill flies and other little insects like that. I will say the overall gun feels solid. It feels like it has some good build quality. It does kind of feel like a toy, but a sturdy toy. It does have the little salt port up top where you uh, import your salt. Um, it's got a very quick and easy to use safety uh, at the rear of the gun and the trigger itself is pretty easy to shoot as well and it does have some pop-up sights whenever the gun is cocked. So as far as cocking this gun, it's not difficult but it's not as easy as even a real gun or a shotgun. It, it does take a little bit of work to get that back and if you're doing that a lot, shot after shot after shot, it's definitely going to wear out your arm a little bit. So I will say this is not for kids. I did shoot myself three times in the foot on purpose just to see how it felt from different distances and it stings. You would not want to be shot in the face or definitely not in the eye with this. Um, it could definitely, definitely hurt you. It's not a kid's toy. I wouldn't just give this to your child and let them run around and, and shoot at each other. So it is not a toy. Um, definitely got to watch if you have this in one of uh, your little one's hands. So about its effectiveness. Can it kill flies? Yes. Majority of the time, you're gonna be able to kill the flies. You do miss every once in a while, or even if you do hit them, it kind of dazes the flies, but you can get a quick follow-up shot and usually kill flies in mostly one shot to two shots, but you're gonna miss about 20% about of the time. So about 80% of the time, you're gonna kill a fly. Um, and that's about as good as a fly swatter. So it's about on par with a fly swatter as far as how effective it's gonna be at killing flies. So this gun, to me, really only has two advantages over a fly swatter. And number one being that uh, when you shoot a fly with this gun, it doesn't explode the fly or like splatter them or leave guts anywhere. Um, it makes, easy to, makes it very easy for you to dispose of them. They stay in one piece. So you don't have to worry about smacking a fly swatter on you know, your window or something like that and then you gotta go clean up guts. So uh, that is one big advantage over a fly swatter that this has. The other is purely entertainment value. Um, this is fun. If you take it to like a campsite or you have people come over or something like that, um, this is something to just kind of entertain with. You know, Pass it around, let everybody try it and kill some flies. Um, it, it's, it, it will do that for you. So, but to know you're gonna pay you know, $40 for entertainment value. Um, if you are gonna spend the money to get this gun thinking it's going to be better than a fly swatter or that you're gonna somehow be able to kill more bugs than you could with a fly swatter, then you're gonna be disappointed. This is basically a $40 piece of entertainment. Um, and I, you gotta know that going into it. When you purchase this gun, you're purchasing it for the entertainment value, not necessarily for its effectiveness over a dollar fly swatter that you can get from like the dollar store. So this thing can kill wasps. Um, you do usually have to follow up some shots. Um, you don't always drop them on the first shot either, but if you do, then, you know, they're still going to be alive and you just, they're going to be laying on the ground and you've got to hit them with some, you know, follow-up shots, either two to three follow-up shots. Um, and you can kill a wasp. Um, we did try it on a grasshopper. We had some grasshoppers that were just tearing up our garden. And uh, I don't recommend using this for a grasshopper. Uh, it will take you at least 10 shots. We were able to actually kill the grasshopper, but it took multiple, multiple shots. And you almost feel like you're just torturing the thing when you can just quickly take care of the grasshopper yourself. So it is meant for flies um, and it does do a good job against flies when you hit them, um, but occasionally you will miss. 
and you're gonna have to either shoot them twice sometimes, but most of the time you'll get them on that first shot and uh, yeah, it's pretty satisfying. So ultimately, what do I think you should get? Should you get a $40 bug assault or a dollar fly swatter? Well, that depends. Uh, if you're looking to just kill bugs, the dollar fly swatter will do it. It's gonna kill your flies, it can kill wasps, no problem. Um, so you, there's there's no worry about whether or not you're gonna get them. Uh, uh, you don't have to hit them with follow-up shots. Um, it does the job. This is a good old fly swatter, been around forever. But if you want some entertainment value while killing flies and wasps and things like that, then I would recommend the bug assault. Uh, it will work, but just know it is gonna be about on par with a fly swatter and you're gonna pay quite a bit more money than a fly swatter. So for entertainment value, yes. For killing bugs better than a fly swatter, no. All right, so that's our video for this week. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that like button, subscribe below for all future Dad Hut videos. See you on the next one, guys.